Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are listening to this podcast. It is Drew Weber wanting to go over the Turtle Beach DSS2 surround sound processor. The main function of this device in a nutshell is to take a 5.1 audio track and turn it into a binaural listening experience with headphones. So I'll say this now, put your headphones on to get what the DSS2 has to offer you. It's a small little device, plastic outside. It's probably a little bit smaller than a Altoids tin. The left side, let's go over that first. The very left side starting closest to you, a very big volume knob that also acts as a mute, the headphone output jack, and a USB power pass-through jack. On the front, facing you, there are three buttons. To the left, the button is the EQ preset. Pressing this cycles through your various EQ presets that the DSS2 has to offer. The second button in, the button in the middle, is your surround sound speaker adjustment. So this is the virtual speakers that are placed around you, and these are the angles of those virtual speakers that you can change when you press this button. The button on the right is the surround sound on slash off. It's, of course, just one thing that it does. It's a toggle. On the right side, there are several jacks starting the closest to you, and I don't know the exact order of the first two. You have an auxiliary in and an audio pass-through jack. I haven't used either of these because I've just used a digital audio feature, so can't really comment on these. The next jack up going furthest from you is your digital optical input. So you are able to plug from sound card, DVD player, PS3, PS4, Xbox, etc. from its optical out into the Turtle Beach DSS2. The last jack furthest away from you on the right side is your mini USB in, which is the power for the device. On the back of the device is your on off switch. It's a toggle, switches both ways if you will. Right is off, left is on, nothing on the top in regards to buttons, switches, nothing on the bottom except four little feet, which keep the device stable. Let's talk about its pros. When I first plugged this thing in, I was quite amazed at the power of the amplifier and the cleanness of it, if you will. So very clean in regards to the audio you get from it, not a lot of noise or hiss when the audio passage is soft and very, very loud output. My Bear Dynamic DT770s did just fine and crank them pretty loud, which is very impressive because those headphones require a little bit more power than your average earbuds or what have you. Also a pro is the lack of room simulation, if you will, or environment simulation when you have the virtual surround sound on. There's no reverbs like Dolby Headphone gives you, it's it's all clean, or if there is any reverb, it's from the mix, which is nice, I do like that. The cons are the fact that it's pretty inside your head in regards to the virtualization, 3D audio, but before we get done with this, we will do some audio tests and you can hear for yourself. In regards to different media, DVD audio or music 5.1 mixes sound pretty close to stereo. Not very much difference, I've actually turned the surround sound on and off and again, Pretty, pretty much inside your head. You can tell it, but it's not huge. Video games and videos, a little bit more uh, spatial differences. And again, it just really depends on the mix that you're listening to. Again, I, I really was expecting it to be a little bit more outside your head. All the different speaker angles really sounds like they've got the front placement set up the center. Of course, that's simple, but the rear speakers sound just like the left and right side in most cases of the stereo field. So, so of course, not at all like a true binaural recording, let's say of a surround sound system, but it's it's not horrible. Let's go ahead and check out some different audio samples. I'm gonna go ahead and do a surround sound test, which will identify the different speakers. And I'm gonna go ahead and cycle through our different angles. And then we'll go ahead and play some different movie clips and we'll cycle through the angles. This is it for me uh, as regards to uh, talking about the device and we'll go listen to it now. Left, center, front right, rear left, rear right. Front left, center, front right, rear left, rear right, left, center, front right, rear left, rear right, left, center, front right, rear left, rear right, center, front right, rear left, rear right, front left, center, front right, rear left, rear right.
Just packed up a real money load and it's coming your way. Look for Rogers on the side of the truck. Don't forget my share of the deal. Just packed up a real money load and it's coming your way. Look for Rogers on the side of the truck. Don't forget my share of the deal.
life or death. Just packed up a real money load and it's coming your way. Look for Rogers on the side of the truck. Don't forget my share of the deal. Just packed up a real money load and it's coming your way. Look for Rogers on the side of the truck. Don't forget my share of the deal.
just packed up a real money load and it's coming your way. Look for Rogers on the side of the truck. Don't forget my share of the deal. <laughs>